In this video, we're going to locate the center of rotation for a given pre-image and image using our straight edge and our compass. So we're actually going to construct where this would be. We're going to do that by using that perpendicular bisector construction that we've used so many times this year. So I'm going to start by constru constructing some segments from pre-image to image. So my pre-image here is this M that's up at the top that has A and B on it. And then that was rotated counterclockwise to my image, which has A prime and B prime on it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my corresponding point. And I'm just going to start with A and A prime. So I'm going to draw a segment that connects A to A prime here. And I want to bisect that segment. I want to draw the perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to pause the video. I want you to bisect that segment and give me a thumbs up when you feel like you got it. So just a quick reminder to bisect, open your compass up more than half the length of the segment. And then we're going to, from one end point, swing an arc above the segment, keeping it the same distance, swing an arc below the segment. Then we're going to move our compass to the other end point of our segment. And we're going to do the same thing. So keeping it the same distance open, I'm going to swing an arc above the segment and swing an arc below. So just rotating this around and getting that intersection point. The perpendicular bisector is gonna be the line that connects the two intersection points. So that's gonna go from there to about there. So this is my perpendicular bisector for line segment A, A prime. Now I want you to do the same thing, but I want you to do it for B and B prime. So on your paper, connect B and B prime, and I'm gonna hit pause, I want you to construct the bisector, and then give me a thumbs up when you feel like you got it. So there's that same construction on the segment B, B prime. These I did in purple, so it'd be a little easier to tell them apart. And the point of intersection of those bisectors is the center of rotation. So I'm gonna highlight that. That's gonna be right where those two lines cross, which is right here. And we would label that point P. So that point of intersection would be point P.